This is Ajay for Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see what is Hystrix. So Hystrix is a circuit breaker pattern implementation created by Netflix. So what is that Hystrix? So if you if you have if you see right, Hystrix is a latency and fault tolerant library which Hystrix has created. So it stops the cascading failures which is happening in a, a complex distributed system. So for example, if you see this particular diagram, we have a request coming in to a particular process that process delegates the request to another process that in turn delig can delegate to different processes if you see if there is a failure which has happened at process 3 that will get replicated to process 2 and that will in turn be pushed into process 1 so the failure will be seen by the initial request in itself so the, uh, the if you see this right the failures are cascaded basically so from the process 3 it goes to process 2 and then it goes to process 1 so what Hystrix provides is it, Hystrix is providing a framework to close this particular circuit. Basically, you if let's say process three fails, you can close that error here itself, and we can handle that here itself, and it it doesn't cascade till the process one. So the failures are handled. So basically, Hystrix is a latency and fault tolerant library which you can use in your application so that you can make your ap application resilient. So mostly Hystrix is used in complex distributed system where the uh, failure is inevitable. So you cannot expect that everything should be always up, right? So there are so if there are too many processes, uh, if something goes down, you should handle it in a way. So that is what Hystrix provides. So let's see a typical example of how you can write Hystrix implementation. So I'm using Hystrix, uh, Spring Hystrix implementation. So Spring provides a, um, a, a wrapper around the Hystrix. Uh, so if you see here in the dependency, I would have added Spring Cloud Starter History. So this dependency is going to um, give us an easy way of uh, implementing history. So we have to add an annotation called Enable History, and then inside the resource. So for example, this particular resource is a REST endpoint, which is going to call another uh, URL. So what I what I have done is I have uh, uh, deployed the applications inside uh, the cloud foundry so i have two uh, applications so i have installed two microservices so one is called the spring boot tech primers the other one is called the spring hystrix tech primers spring boot tech primers is the one which has uh, some user related data so for example uh, this particular url has this data so if you see here uh, there are three rows in that okay these are user details so i'm going to access that via the hystrix so for example this is the hystrix URL. So if you see here, the URL is REST users Hystrix. So I'm going to access the data via this. So what this particular application is going to do is it's going to call this particular um, process and then get the data. So that is what is happening here. So if you see here, the first get mapping is REST slash user slash Hystrix. This is going to do the REST call to that particular URL. So the URL what I have put is I have put inside the application dot properties. So this is the URL which it is going to hit and it is going to get that data and then push it back to the UI or the uh, person who hit this particular rest endpoint. So if you see here, it's just returning the same. Same way I have um, uh, created a normal method without uh, Hystrix, which is a general method, which is not to going to do anything. It's just a typical get, uh, get mapping and then you are going to get the data from the rest endpoint and give it back. So it's going to give a list of users. But if you see here, this particular method I have annotated with Hystrix command. So I am I'm uh, give, providing a command key and the group key and also I have provided a fallback method. So this is the fallback method which Hystrix is going to call when something bad happens to this URL or if some if this particular request times out or something uh, happens to this particular call. So if you see here in the Hystrix fallback I am just creating an empty list and returning so that we don't cascade that particular error till the uh, request initiator. So let's see real time how it can be uh, tested. So let's say this is the Hystrix endpoint and we have the normal users which is general. Okay, this particular endpoint is a general endpoint. So this is not using Hystrix pattern and this one is using Hystrix pattern. Okay, now I'm go what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this particular application in Cloud Foundry. So basically this particular URL is stopped. So the Spring Boot Tech Primers is stopped. Now, if I hit the rest slash users, which is the general URL, so this is going to throw an error. So, if, for example, here if you see 404 not found, and then we are getting an internal server error, 500. So, this is the typical example of cascading exception, which we saw. So, the first process is getting back the exception, whatever the second process is throwing. 
okay so now let's see how hysteric has fed so if you see here hysteric has returned empty list right if you see here this is what has happened right so in the code we have returned the empty list if there is a fallback so that is what has happened here a fallback has happened we are and we are getting the empty response so that is so that is how hysteric works so if you see here see if you see here this application is stopped and this is how this particular application is calling the spring boot and it is it has failed okay so that is the typical implementation of how we can use hysteric in our application uh, but in terms of um, usage it is it is mainly used in the complex distributed systems where they have multiple microservices or multiple uh, commands which are going out uh, to different sources and then uh, if you, you need to handle the failure you need to make sure that it doesn't get cascaded so hysteric helps in that case so that's it for this video meet you again in the next video thank you